Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation channel. Today in this session, I am going to explain you about one of the technical question and frequently asked interview question also. So how can we zoom in and zoom out during your automation script run? So this is a corner case where mostly we hardly see this kind of scenarios in our day to day testing activities. So such cases we will see generally in our accessibility testing and some application which is a responsive uh, UI or not we need to verify. So for that situations we can use this kind of uh, coding. So let's quickly start this session and uh, I will quickly create a class for it. So I'm going with a Java approach. So I'm going to create a test ng class directly. So I'm not going to use a main method. So here what I will do this is for zoom in and zoom out. So zoom in zoom out so this is my test case name or test class name and i will immediately create a web driver api manager instance so i'm using that instead of exe files and everything so for that i'm using chrome chrome dot setup and using a web driver web driver dot uh, need to create a driver right driver equal to new chrome driver and after that, I need to get the driver driver dot get. So this get will accept the URL. So that URL is https So this is the URL that I need to verify. After that, launching that URL, I need to navigate to a different page. So for that, what I will do driver dot find element. So you can use your own way of uh, project uh, writing or project code structure. It may be page object model or it may be Cucumber or any other way that you can use even with Python Selenium code is same. So by dot uh, link text. So link text. So I'm going to use about page. So what I will do, I'll click this page. Right. So after opening that page, what I need to do, I need to pinch in, pinch out or zoom in, zoom out. So for that, let me again give one more method here, driver dot uh, manage dot window, window dot maximize, right. And here, what I will do, I will give some thread sleep. So this is a, this will break my thread at least two seconds it will wait and this is not recommended so you can use for demo purpose but not in your project you can use a uh, uh, explicit and implicit wait methods so I'm using exception as a parent so that any exception will be handled so first and foremost what I will do I will use the dimensions class so dimensions so using this dimensions so what I will do dm equal to new dimensions right so here in the dimensions what I will do I will provide some number or the pixels value so for that what I will do I will give random uh, pixel value like this and this is uh, 5663 so not I will give less than that right and with semicolon now in the new line what I will do driver dot manage so dot window dot and in this we have set size so set size a set size will accept the dimensions so for that what I will do I will provide the object reference of dimensions and quickly save and after that what I will do I will give again thread sleep thread dot sleep but uh, one second and then with semicolon then driver dot close right now i will quickly run this program now you can observe the page differences so driver started chrome browser open and google search page now you can see page got adjusted right that pixel got adjusted now this is where the window entire window got adjusted 
but I don't want this requirement. So your requirement is different. So what I will need to do uh, for the same requirement, you have to make the browser window maximized, then you have to zoom in. So this is method one considering. So in the method two, I will explain method one. So this I will comment. Right. So method two. Method two. So using a JavaScript executor. So I can do these things using a JavaScript executor as well. So JavaScript JSC equal to type cast from web driver to JavaScript executor. So JavaScript executor then driver. Right. Using JSC dot execute script. And I don't need this arguments. So I need to define my own arguments. So for that, what I will do document. So document dot body dot style. Dot zoom equals to. So I need to provide what zoom value I need to go. So here my zoom value is 50% uh, or 150 percent so I will now give 50% uh, so let's see with the 50% how it react right quickly save and execute this piece of code browser started chrome opened it is 50% now we can see it went to 50 percent so page uh, got strength now what i will do i will give 150 percent so if i give 150 percent page should zoom in earlier one was zoom out so which went to 20 uh, half the size that we are seeing now it should go half the size extra now you can see page got zoomed in I think there is some failures. So let's ignore it for now. Now I need to provide a 200% zoom in. So earlier we say in 250, right? So now I will provide 200%. Again, I will quickly execute this piece of code. Now you can see it has launched the browser and opening the website. Navigate it and uh, it should go to 200 percent yes so it has went to 200 percent zoom in so this is a method too that we can perform so now we'll see the other method so i will comment this two lines here so we'll see method three when there are many methods but i am providing a couple of methods which are frequently used so now using a robot class so using a robot class we can also perform many actions so i will create a robot robot dot uh, i'll create a reference new robot right and now there are couple of methods that we can perform so i'm using a for loop condition here so that i will perform some iterations to it so i will say int i equal to 0 then i less than 4 and i incremented so why i am providing this for loop because i wanted to perform some looping actions so using this robot class we can perform some actions right so robot using that reference robot class reference so what i am doing i am doing key press key press now using this key press what i am going to do i need to provide key events so what kind of events that i need to perform key events dot so whenever you are performing zoom in action in your browser you can do with the control plus add icon so like a plus icon so first i need to do control so this is the second one so control then end with semicolon now similarly 
I will copy this and I need to paste this again and here I need to click as add so add is also capitals I guess so add so it's a capital again so after doing the key presses I need to again key release so key release so key release what I need to release the immediate key that I perform which is add key so that key I need to release so again key events key event dot add so this is a key that I performed again I need to release that after that I need to release the control so again robot dot key release again in the key event key event dot control And with semicolon so this will help me to zoom in so let me quickly execute this code for you so this will run for four times so four times zoom in which goes to first time 125 second time 150 third time it goes to 175 so we will observe all these things so it went to 175 right now this is for zoom in so I need to again zoom out from this so I will do copy this entire loop from here and then after this thread sleep I will do this zoom out so here instead of add key I will give subtract 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 and now I will quickly save so this will the first uh, loop will zoom in second loop will zoom out so this time I will go zoom out till six times or five times which is 75 percent i am guessing so let's see the program so i quickly execute this and it will open browser and it has launched the application it went to the page and now it should go to 175 percent and that should come to 80 percent yeah that's working so this is another way that we can perform zoom in and zoom out so these are all the methods that I, we can perform to zoom in and zoom out. So these are questions are frequently asked in interview and also you can use in your application and couple of edge cases like I told accessibility is the one thing and if you are using a content management system which is used for advertisement purpose and also you can use it for the response UI testing also. So I hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel. And if the session is helpful, do post a like and share with colleague. Thank you.